Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to my bathroom. Yay. <laughs> I cleaned it yesterday, especially for you guys. Just thought you'd want to know. Got my hot mess mug here. And there's a couple things that I kind of want to chat about. Maybe vent, rant about, whatever. Um, while I'm getting ready, it's Friday. Fun day Friday, or is it Friday fun day? <sighs> Who cares? It's Friday. That's all we need to know. And um, I have a shirt on. A regular shirt. See? Not like one I, it's one I could wear to work. Um, I do have leggings on though, so it's like what? B plus for effort, maybe? Who knows? I'm gonna count it as an A plus because adulting during the apocalypse. Yay! Anyways. Mm. I'm gonna get ready for the day. Um, I haven't put makeup on in probably about how long have I been home from work? A month. That's <laughs> what it feels like. But it's only been a week. So I haven't put any makeup on for a whole week. And um, I decided that I'm going to today. Because when I put makeup on, I feel productive. I feel like I can be productive. And I feel a little bit more put together. And I need to get some writing done. Because let's face it, I've only gotten like two chapters not even two chapters. That's a total and complete lie. Two paragraphs written in my new book since the week that I've, you know, since the week started. Anyways, um, I already did my face care as the YouTubers say. I'm just gonna, you know, do my thing. This is not a makeup tutorial, just so everybody knows. So do not judge the way I put my makeup on. I like to dot it <laughs> all over my face. And I use two different shades. Um, but anyways, like I said, not a makeup tutorial. So this morning I woke up to the news that the number of infected coronavirus patients has gone up to 85,762 known cases. Um, that's up 327 people from yesterday. That's a lot of people. Although we do live in a country with almost 330 million people, it's still a lot of people to wake up to overnight having contracted the coronavirus. Um, so total of 1,300 I think it's like 1,306 people have died. That's 11 people since yesterday. Um, but total, over 1,300 people have died nationwide from coronavirus. Like I said, in a nation of almost 330 million people, it seems like it's a little bit of a drop in the hat, drop in the bucket, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. But here's the thing. This is my problem with it. So there are 3.3 million people nationwide that have filed for unemployment. That's like, that number has gone up from like, I think it was a couple hundred thousand at the beginning of the month to now 3.3 million people. That's a lot of people being unemployed. That's a lot of people to need, to, you know, who need to practice self-education. And that is what I want to rant about today. Self-education. You know, we're in a time right now where you can't really afford to be uneducated about what's going on in the world, about what's going on in the government, about what's going on in your, you know, your little neck of the woods, all of that good stuff. So if you live in New Hampshire, Here's a little bit about what's going on in your neck of the woods. Um, anyways, so I read a thing from somebody on Facebook yesterday who was saying that they were upset that their employer 
has now decided to not be closed for only two weeks, but to be closed until May 2nd. So that's kind of what happens when your governor issues a stay at home order until May 2nd is that you kind of got to follow the rules. I mean, it's not a lockdown. It's not a, um, what's that word for it? Um, oh my God. It's like right there, right there. Um, when the National Guard comes in and all that other good stuff. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so, it is what it is. Just get over it. Like, for real. The main problem that this person wanted to talk about was the fact that they weren't going to get their full amount of pay from unemployment. But you kind of are you're actually gonna kind of be making more money on unemployment than you were making being employed by your employer for a month. I mean, if you think about it that way. I mean, the amounts may vary depending, but here's the thing. So they passed the stimulus package. It's like a $2 trillion package or some shit like that. An obscene amount of money, that's all I know. In any case, uh, hold on, coffee break. <laughs> And so I'm not trying to be a hot mess today. This is why I'm doing this. Anyway, so um, you can hear Jasper barking in the background. He's such a pain in the buttons. Anyways, so the stimulus package came out and it says that your state will pay you their usual rate of unemployment. If that's two thirds of your pay, whatever. A third of your pay? I don't know. I think it's two thirds of your pay in New Hampshire. But any case, there's a provision to provide an extra $600 a week for up to four months while you're unemployed. Clearly, I can't talk and do my brows at the same time because my face is too expressive. So just excuse me for a moment while I do this because... Oops, excuse me, I just burped. Not bad. <laughs> this is actually kind of like a twofer thing. Because a lot of people always ask me what my makeup routine consists of. Because it looks so fabulous, darling. Fabulous. Now you know. Oh my god, stop. Stop making me laugh, people. Stop making me laugh. These do not look even at all. So I have a scar or something that runs down like the middle of this eyebrow. So it never wants to like pick up pigment. It's ridiculous. <sighs> Whatever. It's good enough. I am not at all a professional. Which we all know. In any case. Back to the subject at hand. Um, so yeah. And then on top of the unemployment amount that you get and the $600 a week for like up to four months that you're going to get, in addition to your unemployment, there's also a stimulus um, check that's going to be issued to every American, well, almost every American, those that make under 75,000 or 100,000 or something like that. Anyways, I know if you make under $35,000 a year, like take home and this is based off of your 2018 or 2019 taxes whichever you is the last one that you filed is what it's going to be based off of 
So if you make under $35,000, you're going to get $1,200 per, you know, for your family. And then $500 additional dollars for every dependent that you claim on your tax return. So that's like $1,700. I mean, I'm not going to lie, but that's more than I make in like a month, not including any commissions from sales or bonuses from sales or whatever. I mean, that's pretty good. And, you know, if I'm getting my unemployment rate from the state, I don't care what it is. If they're giving me an extra $600 on top of that. I'm making more that week than I made being employed by my employer. So I just think people need to be educated before they get online and start ranting and raving about all of the bills they have to pay, all of the, you know, the money that they're not gonna make. Yeah, you know, it doesn't seem like it now, but there is relief coming to you. You just have to educate yourself, read the news, read up on the government, you know, the stuff that the president's doing and all this other stuff. He may be a total like douche nozzle at points, but I mean, there are some things he gets right. <clears throat> this is not an endorsement for Trump. Do not even take it that way. <sighs> In any case, everything on the coronavirus is based in part on theory. And I say that because Nobody really knows whether the coronavirus is mutating or not mutating. The other day, I read an article from a you know pretty prominent doctor that said it was mutating. Today, <laughs> I watched a news conference on CNN with a doctor who said it is not mutating. So I think it depends on the day as to whether the coronavirus is mutating or not. It's kind of like me. It depends on the day as to whether I'm turning into a mutant with an attitude or a nice person without an attitude. Day by day basis, you know, fly by the seat of our pants. Um, so for people to also be getting online and ranting and raving about you know, how it's so stupid that we have to stay home and that they don't understand why the states are closing everything. Hello? Nobody knows about this virus 100%. Do you want to be the one to get sick? Do you want to be that Karen? Do you want to be Karen who goes out, you know, goes to the bar, two weeks later, finds out that she's infected with the coronavirus and already took it back to her kids her grandmother, her grandfather, all of those people who have compromised immune systems possibly, anybody that she interacts with who's susceptible to, you know, catching diseases like this. It's a pandemic, people. This is what happens during a pandemic. You have to stay home. If this was a zombie apocalypse, would you be running around outside trying to catch the zombie fever? I don't think so. I'm just gonna take a breath real quick because, you know, this is ridiculous. In any case, they're trying to flatten the curve, okay? That's the whole point of asking people to stay at home, to flatten the curve. The curve is dramatically steep. In fact, if you educate yourself, educate yourself, and Google it, you can pretty much find out anything that you wanna know about the coronavirus online. For instance, the curve has gone from this to this since the beginning of the month. I mean, that does not show that it's going to be going away anytime soon. In fact, they're talking about this virus being around for the next year, maybe year and a half. That's a lot of time for a virus to be around, to be affecting our economy. And the fact of the matter is, is that if we follow the rules, we stay home, we don't go out unless it's for the essentials like groceries, um, prescriptions.